Hello students, today we'll do biodiversity and conservation part 3. This is the third video on biodiversity and conservation. If you have not watched my previous videos, watch video 1 and 2 on biodiversity and conservation. If you like the video, please click that like button and please subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. The importance of species diversity to the ecosystem. Now, what is the importance of species diversity to the ecosystem? So, ecologists believe that communities with more species generally tend to be more stable than those with less species. So, the communities with more species they generally tend to be more stable than the communities with less species. Which community? The community which will have more species, they would be more stable than the community which will have less species. Now, what are the attributes of a stable community? What are the features of a stable community? Number one, it should not show too much variation in year-to-year -year production. So the year-to-year -year production variation should be minimum in stable community. Number one. Number two, it must be resilient to seasonal disturbances. It must be resistant as well as resilient to seasonal disturbances. Means seasonal disturbances should be minimum in a stable community and should be resistant to it then it must be resistant to invasion by alien species so it must be resistant to invasion by alien mean foreign species the foreign species should not it should be resistant to the invasion by alien species so there are three attributes of a stable community it should not show too much variation in year to year production it must be resilient to seasonal variation and it must be resistant to invasion by alien species so now we have learned community with more species tend to be more stable than those with less species. Now according to this, David Tillman showed through his experiments that increased diversity contribute to higher productivity. So if we have more species diversity then we will have higher productivity and a more stable community. More the species diversity higher the productivity and more the more stable community. Now David Tillman showed that plots with more species showed less to less ear variation in total biomass. So the plots which had more species they showed less ear to ear variation in the total biomass and plots with increased diversity show higher productivity. The plots with increased diversity they showed higher productivity plots with more species they were stable and plots with increased diversity they showed higher productivity so it we conclude that more species diversity is equal to higher productivity and more stable community so we have learned two things more the species diversity higher the productivity more the species diversity more stable the community the scientist david tillman showed this it is given in the ncrt now according to this two questions would be asked and it is also asked in cbsc mention the three attributes that a stable community has so what are the three attributes that a stable community has we have learned this in this in this how to do attributes of a stable community it shows it should not show much to Variation in year to year production. It should not show too much variation in year to year production. It must be resilient to seasonal disturbances and it must be resistant to invasion by alien species. These are three attributes of a stable community. Now let us look at the second question. Stability of a community depends on its species diversity. Write how David Tillman showed this experimentally. Now, <coughs> David Tillman, he showed his experiments that increased diversity contribute to higher productivity he showed that experimentally by he drew the plot and he found out that plot with more species diversity showed less year to year variation in the total biomass and plots with increased diversity showed higher productivity so in this <coughs> video we have come to know that more the species diversity higher the productivity and more stable the community this was shown by david Tillman. Now let us look at the rivet popper hypothesis. First of all, you should know the rivet popper hypothesis was given by Paul Ehrlich. Now, Paul Ehrlich compared ecosystem with airplane and species with rivets. So, ecosystem was compared to an airplane 
and species were compared to a rivet. Rivet means bolt or screws. In an airplane, all parts are joined together using thousands of rivets. You know, in an airplane, all the parts of the airplane, whether it is this part, whether it is this part, they are joined by thousands of rivets. Thousands of rivets mean thousands of screws. If every passenger traveling in it start popping out a rivet to take home, it may not affect the flight safety initially, but as more and more rivets are removed, the plane become dangerously weak over a period of time. Now, if each passenger traveling in this airplane, he starts popping out a rivet, what will happen? Initially, the flight safety will not get affected. But after some time, the flight safety will get affected. In similar way, if species become extinct from an ecosystem, the stability of the ecosystem will get affected. Because here, ecosystem is compared to an airplane and species is compared to the rivets. So, removing a rivet means species become extinct. And airplane become unstable means ecosystem becomes unstable. I hope you would have understood the comparison of ecosystem and the species. Now, further, which rivet is removed may also be critical. That is, loss of rivets on the wing, rivets removed from the wing will, will be threat to flight safety more than rivet removed from the seat. Now, which species is becoming extinct is also important. For example, if a key species is removed, it will affect the ecosystem stability more as compared to non-key species. Similarly, the rivets removed from the seat would have would have be less threatening, would be less threatening to the flight safety as compared to rivets removed from the from the wings of the airplane. Clear? Is this line clear? Further, which rivet is removed may also be critical. That is, loss of rivets on the wing. The rivets removed from the wing will threat flight safety more than rivet removed from the seat. It means more and more rivets are removed, i.e. species become extinct, the more unstable the plane becomes. That is, ecosystem becomes unstable. This is rivet popper hypothesis. So, as more and more rivet would be removed, the plane would become unstable. Means, as more and more species become extinct, ecosystem will become unstable. So, this was a rivet popper hypothesis. You can pause the video and note down the rivet popper hypothesis. Now, we come on to the question asked. Explain the rivet popper hypothesis and name the ecologist who proposed it. So, you know, in rivet popper hypothesis, ecosystem was compared to an airplane and species were compared to a rivet. And what was it and who gave it? It was given by Paul Ehrlich. And you know the whole rivet popper hypothesis now. To what was the e next question? To what was the ecosystem and species compared in the rivet popper hypothesis? Ecosystem was compared with the airplane and rivet were compared with the species in rivet in rivet popper hypothesis. So this question also you answer this question answer also you know to what was the ecosystem and the species compared in the rivet popper hypothesis? Okay, the ecosystem was compared with airplane and species were compared with rivets. So now this chapter of biodiversity and conservation would be continued in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe now to my channel.